Hello and welcome to Euphoria TV Breaking News. My name is Dr David Bull, I'm a medical journalist and I'm thrilled to be your host for this, our second show of March 2021. This show is all about the World Allergy Organization Allergy Week 2021. In a minute, I'll be talking to Professor Motohiro Ebisawa, the president of the World Allergy Organization, who will be joining me from Japan. I'll also be talking to Professor Peter Hellings, the founder and chair of Euphoria, based in Belgium, about why World Allergy Week is so important to his organization. The World Allergy Organization hosts a World Allergy Week every year, and this year it's taking place between the 13th and the 19th of June. The week aims to raise awareness of allergic disease and related disorders and provide training in the diagnosis, management and prevention of these diseases. Every year it focuses on a different topic, and this year the chosen topic is anaphylaxis. Well, joining me to discuss all this is Motohiro Ebisawa. He is the director of the Clinical Research Center for Allergy and Rheumatology at Sagamihara National Hospital and also visiting professor of the GK University School of Medicine. And he is currently the president of the World Allergy Organization. Motohiro, it is great to speak to you. Let me start by asking you, how long has the World Allergy Organization been holding this unique initiative? Since the year of 2011, we started this uh, very important initiative for World Allergy Organization. And uh, actually, uh, this is the second time of having the topic of anaphylaxis during the World Allergy Week. So why uh, is an allergy week so important to the organization? Since the um, suffers from allergic diseases in, the, in this world is so big and uh, um, allergic diseases affect people's quality of life and uh, uh, allergic diseases is so common to everybody such as uh, polynosis and also bronchial asthma and also food allergy atopic dermatitis, and finally, uh, the most severe type of uh, phenotype, uh, anaphylaxis. And what activities has the World Allergy Organization then planned for the 2021 edition to help allergy sufferers? We plan to hold a webinar type of lectureship during the World Allergy Week to focus on anaphylaxis. And uh, our activities covers the uh, uh, definition, revised definition of anaphylaxis and also revised uh, anaphylaxis guideline and uh, also focusing on COVID-19 induced uh, vaccine, uh, COVID-19 vaccination induced anaphylaxis. And finally, uh, we uh, also revising ICD coding uh, in the ICD-11 to qualify the uh, anaphylaxis by the coding. Well, as you say, obviously the subject of anaphylaxis is very timely given the rollout of the COVID-19 vaccine around the world. Um, what do you hope to achieve then from this Allergy Week in 2021? To hold the uh, uh, webinar, we would like to acknowledge uh, to the lay person and also specialist how to cope with anaphylaxis and also how to correctly diagnose anaphylaxis and also in order to save the life uh, we would like to uh, ad advertise the importance of uh, uh, anaphylaxis well, I wish you a great deal of success with it uh, and as your role as president. Thank you very much indeed, Professor Motohiro Ebisawa. Thank you very much. Well, I'm delighted now to be joined by Professor Peter Hellings. He is clinical head of the University Hospital in Leuven in Belgium, and he's also professor at the University of Amsterdam and the University of Ghent. Peter, it is absolutely wonderful to see you again. It has been an incredibly long time. <laughs> yes, you can say that, David. The pandemic of uh, COVID-19 has indeed changed our lives, but I'm very happy to join this breaking new initiative again. 
and uh, the context of which in which we're having this interview is really fantastic. Well, I'm, in fact, we've just heard from Motohiro Ebisawa about the aims and aspirations of World Allergy Week. Perhaps you'd just like to explain to our audience what the week means to Euphoria. Well, thanks for asking. Euphoria, as you know, David, supports all initiatives that increase political and public awareness on the burden of disease of respiratory allergies and chronic respiratory diseases in general. And this Allergy Week, organized by the World Allergy Organization, therefore gets all the support from the Euphoria team, the Euphoria expert teams, as well as the Euphoria Patient Advisory Board. We do believe that joining efforts in political and public awareness on the burden of disease, the improvement of the care pathways, as well as political uh, pressure on making sure that the right patient gets access to the right treatment is really what we are doing all these efforts for. And this is really what Euphoria stands for, making sure that the right patient gets access to the right treatment. Which is really obviously very important indeed. In fact, Motohiro said very much the same sort of thing that you did, saying that the World Allergy Organization aims to raise awareness of allergic uh, disease. Now, Euphoria, as you say, plays a very important role. Perhaps you could sort of outline how uh, Euphoria will support some of these awareness campaigns. I know Euphoria is a growing organization and is reaching many people around the world. Well, as you know, we will help to disseminate the message around the World Allergy uh, Day uh, or Week in, in June 21. And on top of that, we have a very active International Patient Advisory Board and a group of patients suffering from chronic respiratory allergies as well as asthma, as well as chronic sinus disease, that will all join forces in making campaigns and awareness initiatives uh, successful. Euphoria will also organize this year a couple of initiatives together with the patients coming from all horizons in Europe, making sure that the burden of disease is being heard, not only by the patient community, but also by the politicians and the physicians. Because when we hear these patients talking about the burden of disease, the impact this disease has on their daily life, on their quality of life, and also on their daily performance, it's really very uh, valuable to have these patient initiatives as well as awareness campaigns being realized with maximal outreach and also hopeful, uh, good, tangible outcomes. Well, it's been a great pleasure to talk to you, uh, Peter. Thank you very much indeed, Professor Peter Hellings. My pleasure. Well, that's it for this edition of Euphoria TV Breaking News. Many thanks to my guest, to Professor Motohiro Ebisawa, and also to Professor Peter Hellings for their fabulous input. Talking of Euphoria, you can find more information about Euphoria and also register for the Euphoria meetings on the euphoria.eu website where you can also sign up to receive the latest news via email. You can also follow us on Twitter, the address at Euphoria. But that is it for this show. See you soon and thanks for watching.